welcome to all of my students. Welcome to the video or the tutorial on, on the factors effect in VO2 max. And look, I would just sort of fairly strongly suggest to you that if you haven't studied this topic of introduction to VO2 max, that it's a good idea to do that before we look at the factors affecting VO2 max, because there's some conceptual understanding in there that will help you with what we're about to talk about. Okay, so if you haven't done that, go and do that now. Otherwise, and assuming that you have, I'm going to address a very, uh, very simple recording to you. Uh, today, where I, you know, quite literally just list the factors affecting and dis and discuss them. So the factors affecting VO2 max is our focus. All right. So let's crack on with it. The first thing, and perhaps the most intuitive thing to think about, is that, you know, the difference between somebody who has a higher VO2 max and the, and a lower VO2 max is probably going to have something to do with their physiology. So I want to address that point first. So we have physiological, and of course, by physiology we simply mean like biological systems. We have some kind of physiology that's different that enables a higher or lower VO2 max. So, you know, what sort of things could they be? What do we mean by different physiology? Well, the first one I would sort of note to you, and you might recall this from your AS studies if, if you're on that core structure, is what we'd call muscle fibre types. It is predictable that some athletes, perhaps those with a higher VO2 max, may have a greater proportion of slow twitch type 1 slow oxidative muscle fibres. Okay, so that makes sense. We already know some of the characteristics of those fibres. So we might expect someone uh, to have a higher a higher capillary density. Remember, capillary is where uh, gaseous exchange or gaseous exchange takes place. So if we have a higher capillary density at both the lung, at the alveoli, and also at the muscle, then we're better at exchanging oxygen in those areas. Other points I would make about physiology, which might differ from person to person, is to do with mitochondria. Now, I've addressed the, the issue of mitochondria within the aerobic system video, a fascinating structure, mitochondria. But of course, if we've got more of them, a greater 